Brad Hilliard, welcome to PTEX, the podcast, the event series. Thanks for having me. So um, we are going to talk a little bit about just who you are. I, wanna, I know we've got some biking events coming up and you're super involved in this world. So tell us a little bit about your background and cycle works and how you got involved in the, the biking world. Uh, so pretty much just growing up, I've loved bicycles my whole life. Uh, it was a dream to have my own bike shop. Uh, so we have actually been in business for three years now. Um, wow. Yeah, that seems to have I gone know, fast. It, does. It, it, it really does. Time flies when you're having fun, as they always say. Um, but yes, we, uh, we opened the bike shop, and because you know we've got all these biking events that are coming up, uh, we've been trying to get more um, and just trying to help people uh, get on bikes. So, okay, before we get into events, what's your favorite type of riding? That's, that's hard to say. I like, I, I like them all. Um, I grew up doing the BMX, so the freestyle, the ramps, that was kind of what I grew up doing. That's what I, I love to do, but the older I get, I kind of can't do that anymore. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to say gravel and pump track are my two favorites. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, and you guys have, um, I know you do the Thursday night bike ride a lot. I see you guys on the trail sometimes yes. passing yeah, by. Absolutely. Um, so... But anyway, I love what you guys are doing to better the biking community. Um, and I know we both are on the visitor, um, the VCC board. Mm -hmm. yes. So we hear about all these biking events coming up and, and you're super involved in all of it. Um, let's talk a little bit about the events that are coming up. We've got three this weekend. Yes, it's a busy weekend for us for sure. Yes. Uh, so Friday night, this coming Friday, we will have the Casey Strong uh, pump track race, which is for ages five to my age and older. I mean, if you can ride a bike and want to do it, just come out and do it. Uh, then, and that's on, on the pump track. That is on the pump track. So tell us a little bit about how the, I, I, for those that maybe haven't been to the Red Bull or USA events, um, there's like a timing system. Yes, so basically this is, you, you're kind of taking your typical BMX race and putting one single rider on the track as fast as you can go. And so you're not really having to worry about other riders getting in your way or pushing you off the track or whatever. This is just a you, your bike, and the track and just how fast you can get around it, basically. And they do, like, circuits, would you call Or not, I mean, you go through, we like, a first like, round and then you've got semifinals. Like an elimination round, basically. So everybody will start. They'll take the top, depending on how many kids are in the group, they break them down to age groups. So you're, the five-year-olds aren't racing against the, 10, 15 year old. Right. So they kind of break them down to give you a little more, um, have a chance to, you know, because the older older kids and, uh, and people that have more experience, they're going to go a whole lot faster than somebody that's. And just, then there, there's a breaking point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I noticed that at USA, it was like, you know, you got these younger guys and then it gets up here. And then once you get into this older yeah. age range, it's it like, starts to slow down. We're a, we're a little more cautious, kind of, you know, we got <laughs> families to take care of. You stuff. like your teeth. I like my teeth and my bones all in, intact and stuff. So, but yes, it is a, it's a, it's a, you, the rider, the bike, just how fast you you're kind of racing yourself. I mean, you you're racing everybody else, but absolutely. Yeah. So, okay. That's the Casey strong, which obviously is, is named after Casey wrestler. Yes and yep. his involvement with the track. And um, I know there were lots of people that made that possible. But, Absolutely. Um, and that they opened it up this year. It's all ages, pretty much, It's right? all ages, yeah. We had it, I think we when we started, it was like, we cut it off like it's 17 or 18. Yeah. And, and being that Red Bull and USA came in, they had an older um, age bracket where you could pretty much get into it. So we kind of we kind of want to let everybody have the opportunity to just come out and try it. I mean, yeah. it doesn't matter if you're fast or not. It's a it's so much fun. I mean, just seeing these little kids, you know, five years old on like the Strider on bikes. Strider bikes. Yeah. I mean, and they're just I mean, they got the biggest smile on their face, and all the people around them just cheering them on, and they're just having a blast. That's and then like. you guys will be there, right? So you'll be set up yes. with you know, do service and, and Absolutely. All. We have a, a mobile uh, trailer that we pull around. Um, we carry tools and extra parts and stuff. Um, so we will be actually set up right next to the, the pump track. So if you need anything or if we can help you out, um, that's what we're there for. 
Okay, so that's Friday. That is Friday. Then you're going to wake up early Saturday. Then we wake up early again <laughs> Saturday. The trailer will be moved over in front of the Civic Center, and so that will be our Tour de Paris. It's this 38th yep, year? Yeah, 38. 38 year, which is amazing. I mean, I did not realize it had been going on that long. Um, so we will be set up in front of the, the Civic Center like we did last year. Uh, we'll have T-shirts, and we'll be there just to hang out Random things happen. I mean, I've had people yeah. show up, drive all the way from Arkansas. They, Their seat fell off their bike on the way up here. So we had to run to the shop, <laughs> grab a seat. I mean, just the weirdest things you can think of, it's it's going to happen. Yep. Um, tires always pop before, you know, you roll out there or something happens. So uh, that's what we're there to help out any way we can. I just talked to Paul with the chamber. Okay. He said they've got around 900 registered awesome. expecting well over a thousand yeah. um okay so do you usually ride in it or are you pretty much at the i'm always now that we have the bike shop we're just we don't get to ride all so the you, rides. you've probably seen from uh, an onlooker perspective when they yes open up that yeah. on is it old clark's Bowl? yes and you've got all these box coming that one yes. i mean that is like one of my favorite that it, and when they round the square it is and i mean just the and, and we hear it every year. It's like Paris is top notch as far as a supported ride. I mean, the whole town comes out. They'll line the square. There'll be Boy Scouts hanging, you know, holding flags, and everybody's cheering. And but yes, when you're on that starting line and you kind of look behind you, and there's you know almost a thousand to twelve hundred riders there to do the same thing you're you're yeah. doing. I mean, from everywhere. I mean, from all surrounding states, um, all you know, from Austin, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana. I mean, we pull them from everywhere. But the same thing is said every year. Yostown knows how to do a ride. I feel like we just lay out the red carpet. You know, we you do. got Paul, I think, said there was like 600, if, what's it, 600, 700 volunteers? Oh, easy. Sorry, I'm looking at Broadway to, <laughs> yeah, like 600 volunteers. I yes. mean, that's insane. And, and that's what I don't think a lot of people realize how much it takes to put on a ride of this magnitude, but the support and the volunteer, and these are all volunteers. Yeah. I mean, nobody is, nobody's paying me to go up there and, I mean, or, or sit at a rest stop for five hours in 112 degree yeah. weather and just, just handing out waters and, and um, whatever else. Protein they, snacks they, and yeah, bananas. I mean, you know. But yes, our rest stops are probably the best. I mean, I've been to a few rides around the state of Texas, not very many, but the ones that I go to, I'm like, this is it kind of, yeah. <laughs> kind of thing. Like, it, it's definitely top notch for sure. Well, I'm excited. So the, I think the routes are like 14 miles up to like 80. There's something for just about everybody. The, sh the short lap, you know, it's, it, everybody starts in the same spot. Uh, so the, the shorter uh, mileage, I think it is four, 14, 15, something like that. But you, you get all the, the aspects of what the start is. I mean, you, you start with everybody. You come up around the square. Everybody's cheering yeah. you on. And then when you come down the hill, you basically get on the Northeast Texas Trail, which is something awesome that Paris has also. And so yeah. you kind of end and then go back to the Civic Center, basically. And I want to give a shout-out to Becky Simple. Oh, for sure. Because she, she's on staff at the Chamber, obviously. Yes. and And... Um, tourism director she works her tail off on this event um, she works circles around me I mean she's when I get there she's there at the Civic Center I don't know what time I don't think the lady sleeps yeah, to be honest. I, I really don't <laughs> but she's there and then she's there when we're packing up leaving I mean she's she, she works hard she works her tail off. we were at the Red Bull event she had been out there or maybe it was USA I saw her well, I saw her both but USA and she's working Yes. sweating and she comes up and asks me if I need water yes. I'm like yes with a you smile, you need with to a sit smile down. on her face <laughs> yes. um, so she works hard so we're super grateful for everything because the, the tour would not be the tour without her exactly I mean she's been a, a pillar of yes. for that event yes. so for years um, and, and so are all of the chamber staff and and volunteers but for sure Becky works really hard Absolutely. on that so so then we've got one more after that again on Saturday or Sunday. Sorry. We do. So yes, this is a three day weekend. So then Sunday we have the Hell of the North Texas gravel ride. So a lot of the riders that came in for Tour de Paris, they will also stay mm -hmm. Sunday um, and do the, the gravel ride. And that is a little bit different. 
it's for a, your, it, it's, your hardcore riders. It, yeah, I mean, it is a lot different because basically it is what it what it means. It's you ride on gravel roads, so you're not on the smooth asphalt. I mean, it could it could it it changes. I mean, and it, then if it rains, I mean, you're riding yeah. in mud and, and gravel and all that kind of stuff. So it it makes it a lot more fun and interesting. Which I guess I say the hardcore. Some of the guys at Tour de Paris are doing. 80 we'll miles that. on the highway. And oh, yeah, and then they'll turn around and do yeah, that's miles insane. the next day. Yeah. So, well, well, it's cool to see. I know we've been in meetings for, <clears throat> and you've been more involved than I have, but just I've sat in some of the meetings talking about Paris being a cycling destination yeah. and all these events, and it's really seemed to grow. We have July this year has been bike month, so we had Red Bull and USA come, which was awesome. Yes. Um, people coming from all over, and we had one rider that's an Olympian yes. rider, and then I know Shay Reno is awesome. She trains Absolutely. here. We we know her really well, so it's been cool to watch her yeah. in the in, in the field as well. I mean, um, we've even had some drive from California to, to do that. And like I mean, Arizona. Yes. And, I mean, I mean they mean, came from all over. And that's the thing, um, you know, the Red Bull USA pump track. Um, if people don't really understand that, R Red Bull, there's only three three qualifying events in the United States. Yeah. So that means they only have three chances to get a qualifying bid or a free ticket ride to, I think it's in Chile this year, yeah, where the world championships mm -hmm. are. So it's a big deal to to have an event like that oh, in, yeah. in Paris. Especially for two years in a row. Two years in a row. It doesn't always happen yes. that way. Yeah. So, um, and then before we wrap up, we've got, so that's this weekend. Those are the three this yes. weekend is Casey Strong, Tour de Paris, Gravel Grind, and then we kind of take a break for a bit. Thank a month. <laughs> yeah. Thank goodness. And then September is another different biking event. Absolutely. We're trying to cover everything that we have available here, and that's going to be our hard labor uh, mountain bike race out at Pat Mays Lake at, at uh, Barber Hills. And that's awesome out there. It is. It, it's a hidden gem. Yeah. People do not realize. And um, I'm just going to give a big shout out to the crew that works out there. Oh, yeah. I mean, they are, they're busting their tails right now, just trying to get the trails ready, cleaned, taped off, marked. That way nobody has any issues. Because when you're out there, you know, you're cranking, you're going as hard and fast as you can. You're worrying about drinking and getting fluids in and this and that and the rider in front of you. The last thing you think about is, oh, did I need to take a right or a left because there's trails out there all over well, the there's, place. So I talked to Brian Harges, who's yes. huge. I mean, he, he has done so much out there. Yeah. Uh, there's 17 miles. Mm -hmm. It used to be like 13, I think, but they just added and they added. They just and keep adding and adding. Added more obstacles and yes. I don't know if you call them obstacles, but. Well, they built bridges. Bridges, and berms, berms and, all kinds yeah. of stuff. So yeah. 17 miles, that's insane. That's crazy. Um, it's beautiful. It is. Wood, wooded and... And the hills are bigger than you think when, yeah. you, <laughs> when you get on a bike. So I didn't know that a few years ago, Broadway and I went out to film a community event and we actually had to hike the oh, trails yeah. with all of our camera gear, which was... <laughs> and it was like August, super hot. We were sweating. Yeah. I, was, I think we were both wearing jeans, maybe. Yeah. Bad, 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 dis idea. bad decisions were yeah. made, <laughs> and uh, and so we got like halfway in, and they're like, "Oh, we're gonna go right around here to this other place," and we're lugging around <laughs> these cases and stuff. And they are like, some of them are, yeah. I mean, straight yes. down, you know. Yes. So it's pretty it impressive. Yeah, it's I pretty think awesome. people hear mountain bike trails, and they're like, "Well, there's no mountains here." Right. Well, you should go out there because you might change exactly. your mind. Yes. For um, sure. So that'll be cool to see the hard labor, and there's some free clinics. Yeah, we usually, and if it stays the same, uh, I think the, so the actual race is on a Sunday, uh, Saturday, they do like a kid's clinic mm -hmm. and a, a little little race kind of inside. They kind of put some tape up and do a little race for them for like striders and, and stuff like that. Uh, but they do have a guy come in and talks about, um, you know, wear your helmet, safety with your helmet, uh, safety on your bike, how to maintain and stuff like that. So it's it's a lot of fun. And it's awesome. And most, I think, are most or all of the clinics are free, I think? Everything, yes. So yeah. that's awesome. And then the, yeah, the race is on Sunday. Yeah. So, um, well, thanks so much for all you do. I know CycleWorks is a sponsor along with Lamar National Bank um, for ParisTexasBiking.com, which kind of highlights all of the, the biking events and destinations yeah, which are, here. Which is super cool. Yeah, so thanks for awesome. sponsoring that. And um, yeah, and we love what you guys do. Cool. Keep we us rolling. It. We try to. <laughs> Thanks so much, Brad. Thank you.